man knows what a man needs. <laughs> that Will Smith is bisexual and that they do this, this, and that, and the other. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. They were trying to mold me and shape me for that part of the Fresh Prince, but they were also trying to mold and shape me for some other sh But before that, now remember, when I first came out with my albums, you see Shan with the Puma suits, and you see Shan with the, with the, with the heel. Uh, on the screen and, and mostly because of some of the things he had done originally in his videos and stuff like that, you know. Thanks, Benny. You're welcome. My mother said, you'll, you, you'll never make anything of yourself if you don't go to college. Eat MC Shan reveals how Will Smith made his way to Hollywood. We've all heard tales about what went down during the filming of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but hold on to your seats because some fresh revelations have surfaced. These whispers are suggesting that Will Smith's journey into the showbiz spotlight might just be the tip of a much larger iceberg. You know, there's a there's a magic moment. You never, you don't know if you will get it. Yep. That we were testing the neck chain. The rumor mill is spinning tales that Benny Medina, the show's producer, didn't simply wave a magic wand to get Will on board. It's being whispered that he might have tried to pull off the exact same trick with none other than MC Shan. Unlike Will, who seemed to play things close to his chest regarding the challenges he faced, MC Shan is spilling the beans on some eyebrow-raising requests that Medina allegedly made. This could shake things up in the industry, big time. So what's the scoop on these details? And how is the public reacting? Let's dive right in. Let's talk about MC Shan first. You might remember him as an 80s rapper who delivered the catchy hit, The Bridge, a track produced by Marley Marl. He also had a hand in the Canadian rapper Snow's global sensation, Informer. Now here's where it gets interesting. MC Shan has started to peel back the curtain on the role selection process for the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and boy, is it a tale to behold. Now with this story, People try and think that I'm trying to put any dirt on, on, on Will. Me and Will was cool. Will's first show was with me at the Fourth Wall Repertory. I remember it like it was yesterday. Sure, Will Smith eventually snagged that iconic role, but according to MC Shan, his acting chops might not have been the only thing that sealed the deal. Rumor has it that Smith might have been willing to go the extra mile and bend a little to please the decision makers. But hey, this isn't just a story about Will Smith, no siree. It's also about the person that Will supposedly had to win over to hit those Hollywood lights, and MC Shan is not holding back one bit. Picture this, MC Shan is dropping bombshell after bombshell, revealing tidbits that have been kept hush-hush until now. He's suggesting that the route to stardom in Tinseltown might not always be straightforward and clear-cut. It's as if the dots are being connected in a grand puzzle, one that involves Warner Brothers and a whole lot of behind-the-scenes maneuvering. Shan is making it known that he believes there were some rather peculiar occurrences in the process of cherry-picking the cast for The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Now, here's where it gets intriguing. While Will Smith might have been chosen for his eventual role, MC Shan is implying that there's more to the story than meets the eye. It's like Shan is shining a light on a side of Hollywood that doesn't often see the spotlight. He's implying that there were certain situations that actors had to navigate, situations that might not have been comfortable for them. And guess what? Shan is spilling these juicy details like a master storyteller. In a candid interview, the rapper has pulled back the curtain on a story that has long remained hidden from the limelight. That cartoon is basically telling the story of me getting jerked by cold chilling and all that, but I didn't want to do it in documentary form like we're here talking out live and tell a story. Revealing a twist in the tale of how he almost nabbed the lead role of the show that ultimately catapulted Will Smith to stardom, the rapper unveiled how a single moment and a derogatory remark altered the course of his career. This revelation isn't just about missed opportunities, it's about the choices and the words that can shape destinies in the unforgiving world of showbiz. The rapper, who was initially in the running for the iconic role that eventually went to Will Smith, dropped a bombshell that resonated far beyond the industry's usual whispers. In a shocking turn of events, he divulged that his journey took an unexpected detour due to an incident involving Benny Medina, the manager, producer, and record executive. It was a moment that would not only cost him a coveted role, but cast a shadow over his entire career. I was up for that Fresh Prince role, the rapper admitted. The tantalizing offer was on the table, a chance to step into the shoes of a character that would become a cultural icon. But then came the turning point, a heated exchange with Benny Medina. The interview captured the intensity of the rapper's emotions as he recounted the story that would change his trajectory forever. The decision not only derailed his chance at the Fresh Prince role, but also triggered 
triggered a ripple effect that reached beyond the surface. I ain't with it. Next thing you know, they got fresh prints, the rapper defiantly exclaimed. This straightforward refusal to conform to the behind the scenes expectations led to a cascade of consequences. He didn't just lose a role, he lost his place in the industry's grand scheme. The rapper went on to emphasize that his stand was a conscious choice to prioritize his authenticity over the alluring promises of fame and fortune. The rapper's question was simple, yet loaded with implications. He directed his query at Will's career trajectory, drawing a link between Will's first film, Six Degrees of Separation, and a mysterious club that had intrigued many within the industry. He didn't hold back in implying that there might be more to success than just talent and hard work. The rapper suggested that this exclusive club, possibly driven by behind-the-scenes dynamics, played a role in opening doors to greater opportunities and financial rewards. Delving deeper, the rapper hinted at rumors that had swirled around Will's sexuality, suggesting that these rumors had emerged after his performance in Six Degrees of Separation. The rapper brought up the daring role Will played in the film, a role that required him to embrace a more unconventional character, including engaging in a same-sex kiss. There is no part of me that thinks that was the right way. It was a departure from the usual roles he had portrayed and raised eyebrows within the industry. Method acting became the buzzword associated with Will's commitment to the role. He submerged himself into the character, going beyond the surface to truly embody the essence of the character he was playing. And while Will's dedication earned him accolades and recognition, it also fueled discussions about the lengths one might go to secure a coveted role, especially when transitioning from television to movies. The notion that Will's commitment to six degrees of separation was a calculated step towards securing his place in Hollywood's hierarchy. But the story didn't end there. The rapper turned actor pulled back yet another layer of the narrative, revealing a personal aspect that took the intrigue to a new level. In his own memoir, Will admitted to having fallen in love with a co-star during the filming of Six Degrees of Separation. This revelation added a dimension of complexity to the story, as it revealed a personal connection that had developed amid the professional environment. The co-star in question was someone who shared screen time with Will, and their connection evidently went beyond the realm of acting. Well, the rapper's revelations and the subsequent discussions underscored the intricate interplay between ambition, authenticity, and success within the entertainment industry. The blurred lines between the personal and the professional, the choices made for the sake of advancement, and the whispers surrounding artists' journeys were all laid bare in this unfolding narrative. One of the, the beautiful parts of social media that I think is a beautiful evolutionary thing is that social media demand. As the film's production commenced, a curious aspect came to light, the actor's unwavering commitment to staying in character both on and off the set. This commitment extended beyond the confines of the movie, creating a peculiar overlap between his real-life persona and the character he portrayed. For Will and his new wife Cherie, this presented an unexpected challenge in the early days of their marriage, especially with a newborn baby in the mix. Different belief systems, different way of doing things, and there were times when we, we had bumped head. Cherie found herself in an unusual situation, living with a man named Paul Poitier instead of the person she had married, Will Smith. This merging of on-screen and off-screen personas blurred the lines between fiction and reality, leaving her grappling with a challenging and perplexing situation. The actor had previously discussed the lingering effects of the movie's demands on his real-life relationship. Do you believe there's more to the story than meets the eye? Share your insights in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more intriguing insights. Stay tuned for the next chapter.